Hello and welcome to my Let's Play on the Dwarfs. So this is a game I bought back in April. Uh, they were actually selling it uh, in an alpha state, basically, sort of like an early access game. It was just on their, their website. Um, and I, I got told uh, about this game by a friend. I was like, hey, that does look pretty cool. So I bought it and then I was planning on doing a Let's Play on it back then. But uh, the developers told me to wait until the beta. Uh, and after that happened, I just sort of lost track and I, I never really uh, got around to it anymore. But then, just recently, the developers sent me an email and they were like, Hey, you make cool videos, you want to do a Let's Play on our cool game? And I was like, Hey, that is a cool game, and I own it, so maybe I will. And now, here we are. Um, they gave me a special build uh, that allows me to play essentially the full version, um, which releases on the 1st of December, 2nd of December, somewhere beginning of December. I'm playing this uh, two weeks earlier or so. Um, so it is a, it's a test review build, but it is the full game as far as I'm aware. Um, so, yeah, I won't be allowed to release this footage uh, until a week from now or so, though, so that's that's unfortunate. But anyway, um, yeah, gonna do a Let's Play on the Dwarfs. It is this cool? This game does look really cool. It's basically an action RPG. Uh, you control, like, loads of dwarves at the same time. They have all, all got kinds of special abilities. It's just, it's great. So let's just jump into it. Fracas made us from stone to protect Gurnalgarn. Against orcs, ogres, and all the other beasts of Tior. We are the guardians of Gurnalgarn. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. Alright, so the game tells us we can pause the game anytime by pressing space, move the camera by using the middle, blah, 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 okay, no one cares. Right. Oh, click on the leap attack, yep, I know how to do this. I played through this little beginning thing just to get used to how this game works. Alright, so yeah, basically, uh, in order to begin, or in order to succeed here in the beginning, we need to uh, kill uh, a whole bunch of guys. So we have these abilities, so let's just uh, showcase a bunch of them. There's, um, this game is physics based, so as you see, uh, as I do that, I'm like, knock down opponents and stuff. Um, run on the floor, it's, a, it's an insta-kill, which is pretty useful. And I can knock opponents off edges as well, or leap, or um, off, um, there you go, there goes one of them. Off uh, the edges of the map, I should say. Which is pretty useful as well. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of attacks, I got the charge that I just did. I think if I do this, that guy's gonna, yep, fly off as well, there you go. Um, and I've got the Q ability as well, I'm not sure what this does, I think it's just high damage on a bunch of attacks. You can see my health bar and the little blue uh, dots underneath, those are my action points. Each one of these attacks, you can see how many action points it costs. They all cost three. Um, so currently I can do one attack and then I only have one action point left and I can't do anything else. So I'm going to hold off for a second here. Um, there's a whole bunch of enemies coming across. So if I... I might be able to knock off a bunch of these guys by running over there. Oh, no one got knocked. Actually, I think I knocked off one of them. So that's pretty decent. Um, I'll jump over there. Boom. Knock off a few more. Our objective right now is to kill uh, 60 total and Glandolin, which is our, the guy we're controlling right now, must survive. So let's make sure we do that. We are kind of in the middle of like enemy territory. Oh, a present from the workshop. Thanks, fellow dwarf. Uh, go over to the chest to click on it as soon as the use button will appear. So the grenades you can well be created. All okay, right. we gotta get over there somehow. So this might be the best way. I'm doing that, knock off a few enemies at the same time. All right, pick up some grenades. Pick there we go. Yeah, this is not the time for talking, man. There's loads of these guys. Okay. So we got some grenades. Uh, let's get the camera over a little bit so we can see a better <laughs> holy shit, better view of that. Let's um, let's make our way over here. Oh, because I want to use this tactic against these guys here and then knock them off the edges. That'll speed things up a little bit. How about some over there, right there? Get out of there! Oh my god, I got loads of them. Of course, they, this does the same sort of thing, but it's obviously a much smaller uh, radius. I don't really want to use too many of these grenades. I don't know if I need to keep them and, and use them some other time as well. I'm assuming this is just like for this on, only for this mission or something. So let's just assume that's the case. Oh my god. I might want to keep them for, for a little bit though. Okay, only two more kills. So let's just kill those normally. There we go. My king! What are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, 
has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Tion for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. <sighs> we are too few. This you know as well as he does, but there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness and death. Stay at your posts. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing can break us. Vrakas is with us. All right. Change between characters at the bottom left of the screen or by pressing tap. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Select more than one at a time by pressing shift, click on, or by clicking and dragging a rectangle around them. Oh, that's useful. Okay, so we gotta destroy some ogres. Oh, those are ogres, I guess. Okay. Um, do we... Oh, we ran out of those things. Oh, hold on, this, this is another character. Okay, so this is a... Uh, uh, fight quicker for a short amount of time. Okay. What is this? King's Hammer. Stuns nearby enemies. That sounds pretty good. Okay, stun the ogre. And then we have Cleave. A lot of doing several... Uh, okay, cool. Right. I want to make sure we use, like, all the abilities. I wonder if I can knock these guys over. Oh, I can. Oh, man. He actually... Got knocked sideways a little bit. I don't think this guy can be knocked over all the way though, unfortunately. Okay, so we just keep doing this, I think. It seems to heal them as well. It, it's like a healing symbol. While the game is paused, space where you can give commands to several heroes in a row, which are executed simultaneously once the game is resumed. Okay, that's fine. I don't really need to do that right now. Oh, we do have this, actually. You, take that. Uh, that doesn't really do a whole lot. You guys, get out of here. Oh my god! I knocked him, him back as well. Okay, right, so I do need to actually make sure I attack constantly. It's interesting how he has a cleave with a hammer, by the way. Yeah, okay, what is this again? Uh, Alright, stun nearby enemies, sure. I think stunning the... Uh, oh man, that does loads of damage as well. Okay, get out of here. Oh, I, lo I love how you can knock, like, one guy into another guy, and then that works. Okay, the ogre's dead. We need to destroy catapults. Okay, they must be over here somewhere. There they are. Okay, this guy's great for this, because he can just be like, hit. There we go, catapult. That's that. Oh, that's great. Does this thing die quick or no? You'd think so. Uh, not really. Get out of here! Okay, I want you to do some buffing. And a good old cleave right here. Hit the catapult as well. Oh, that is pretty good. Ooh, well down. You keep hitting this. Get away from me! It doesn't actually do any damage, that jump. It just does... It knocks them back, I think. on all these enemies over here. Do a cleave. Oh my god, that's just, it actually knocks them like to the side as well. That's great. Is this thing dead yet? Come on. This might kill it. No, it doesn't. Oh, it just does knock down as well. Okay. Oh, I got... Wait, I got stunned somehow. Back in there. Just killed a stupid catapult already. It's like one or two hits away from dying. Let's get another buff to that one guy that's next to me. Oh, there's two. Never mind. That was wrong. Um... I'm gonna cleave. Get out of here. Can we destroy this one yet? We still haven't destroyed it. Attack it. There we go. Keeps changing target. Oh man, there's so many of them. Okay. Uh, oh, never mind. We did it. These are the ones who attacked us in the tunnels. We suffered great losses beating them back. Come here and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf! In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Sitalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the shadow mare just grins down, mockingly. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the elves. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us, but perhaps one of your kind. This cannot be. Silence, you fool! Vrakas, forgive me for what I am about to do. Quickly! Information! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> yes! Alright, let's hold them back. Get out of here! Oh my god, all those arrows. I think I made, made him miss all of those. I got one more grenade. Man, I should have saved some. 
Let's do it. Okay. I don't think I knocked off anyone, but... Okay, keep murdering people. Hey, get off me, man. What the hell's wrong with you? Get out of here! I love his abilities. I mean, this guy's my favorite so far. Out of the two dwarfs I've controlled. Fuck you. Is he dead? He is dead. Okay. Get away from him! Oh, crap. I knocked over the... Oh, he's in he's fighting now. <laughs> he, like, actually fought to get back in there. Get over here. Oh, I'm out of action points, essentially. There's archers up there. I wonder how good they're actually doing. I love how no one's trying to actually get through. They're just sort of fighting us. Get me out of here. Man, we're actually beating them. Surely there's another wave coming. Or is this it? Uh... Wait, what? Defeat... Okay, five runes the gate are active. Gisselbert dies before he was able to close the gate. 100%. That seems like a... I don't know. That's weirdly worded. Okay, is there anything else coming? Oh, there's a massive wave over there. I don't think they're triggered yet. You know, let's make it too easier on ourselves. Let's let's trigger them. Might be a bug in the game or something. It is not a fully released project yet, or product yet even. And they're still like not even really willing to do anything. Get out of here! I said go. I knocked off a few of them. Worth it. More are coming in now. Only a few though. Not really enough to do anything. Need more points so I can jump out of here. Get me out of here. Hey, we do it. Look at me. I am Syntharas. The Reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears, and let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Brakas. No, your soul now belongs to the land, and henceforth you will belong to it forever. Now die, and return. Then, hand us Girdle Guard. Man, I just said I like that guy, and then they go kill him off immediately. What the hell's wrong with this game? Well, that was quite the intro. You're a perfectionist, Tungdil Bolifar. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metalwork of a dwarf, what can you rely on? Uh, right. What can I do for you? You look dreadful, bad knight. Let's not be a dick. What can I do for you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. In your mind, you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. Apart from a few little squabbles with his famuli, nothing worth mentioning happened since the incident with your beard. You nod. Okay. Okay. I'd better not let the Magus wait too long. Should I be... You look dreadful, Pat. Sure, I mean, why not? You look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic, reprimanding scowl. Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were teething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Frala smiles. She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago. But I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. If what you've read about the dwarven lifespan is true, It'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. I better not keep the Magus waiting. See you later. There's goulash for dinner. Alright. Added to inventory. Bombs. Removed from the party. Yeah, he's dead. And so is he, the king. Added to the party. This guy. Whoever this is. Added to the inventory. Some tiara or something? I don't know. 
Currently, current food supply and daily, daily consumption, day... Okay, I haven't played this far. I actually did play up to that um, point where the... Well, up to that last cutscene, cut scene, I think. Um, but that was literally in, in April when I bought the game. So, our quest log. Talk to your mentor, Lofian. I think it was like a Welsh pronunciation. Lofian Lof, Lof, and... The, 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 find him in a study. No side quests, sorry. So I, I actually completely forgot to like mention this, but yeah, this game is based on a book. I never read the book, um, sadly, but I might do if the game is any good. Um, I think it's just called The Dwarfs. I think it's a German book, so it's like Dust Sea Dwarfs or Sea Zwerfs or whatever. I can't remember the stupid This name. is where you swung the forge hammer for the first time 30 cycles ago. No one taught you the craft. It was enough for you to watch Lot Yonan's old smith at work. Whenever the workshop was empty, you practiced and quickly mastered the craft with ease. Lot Yonan. It's not that difficult, actually. There was a time when you could hardly lift the heavy hammer. Now you barely notice it anymore and it feels like an extension of your arm. Smithing is in your blood. Good to know. Let's look at the gate. There I are suppose this is not the way we go. who have never seen the sky. And you too feel more comfortable when you have rock over your head. If only you didn't long to see more of the world, a longing that grows stronger with every year. Every year. Alright, what about this letter cloth? Oh. Oh, an axe. Hell yeah. I guess I'm glad I did that. <laughs> You don't retired. Exhausting work, swinging an axe twice. Uh, Altar to Vrakas, our god, I guess, or something. Everything you know about dwarves, you learnt from books. The divine smith created the dwarves, and from time to time, you make him an offering of some crumbs of gold. It's the most valuable thing you have to offer Vrakas. Well, you better be grateful. You Horse figurine. You more on Sunya's birthday present last night. The little one is crazy about horses. You, on the other hand, prefer to keep your distance unless you're fitting them with hooves. Too many legs and way too big. I love how much detail, like, you can click on so many things and there's a story about it. Cree! Um, I think that I must have gotten them all, though. So, I think even though this is kind of a short episode, I might just end it here. Actually, I want to have a look at, like, inventory and stuff. Oh god, the game has crashed. There we go. So you have 10 gold. Frala's amulet. The symbol of protection that Tungdil has forged for Frala. So it's, are we Tungdil? Yeah, this is Tungdil. Okay. Got our provisions. Ah, he's got the uh, blacksmith's blow. Mighty blow dealing lots of damage to a few enemies and froze them back. That, I think that's the same one that other guy had. Stubborn, passive. His health is uh, below 30%. Tungdil gains bonuses on armor and damage. Okay. Cool. Stubbornness of a proper dwarf. Hey, groundling. Oh. Come to the kitchen, we need you. Jollison, a fourth degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic, gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. Alright, do I have to make a choice now? I guess, is that a side quest or something? Hold on. Uh, Q? Nope. I have no idea what the button is for a side quest. I guess I'll just click here. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. I mean, I, I said I was going to end the episode and then I just keep walking along anyway. So I'm gonna end the episode here. It's a bit short. I don't like ending episodes this soon usually, but I feel like I just want to get this like intro uh, battle done and then oh, look at the stairs. And then uh, next time we're gonna have longer episodes. Usually it'll be like 30, 30 minutes each. as per usual. Anyway, so that's gonna be that. The first episode of The Dwarfs. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.